Hey there, and thanks for tuning in. I am Larry Click, and today we're going to be going over the new releases from Deviate, the Thug Unruly, and the Diva Divine. We're going to get into the Diva Divine in just a little bit, but first let's start off with the Thug Unruly. Uh, I drilled this one 85 by 4 by 45, as you can see right here. I just like to see a ball retain energy, get down lane, and uh, do what it's supposed to do off the spot. All of these surfaces are 2000 grit. It's my favorite number for figuring out what a ball wants to do and where it belongs in my arsenal. If I need to change things down the road, that won't be a problem. What I like most about this thug unruly is that I feel like I can move left, throw it right, and I won't have any problem with recovery. And what would a ball motion video be without a little bit of love for all the two-handers out there? Next, we're gonna move on to the pin down Diva Divine. 45 by four and a half by 75. It's going to be my benchmark ball. The first thing I pull out of my bag, no matter where I'm at or what I'm bowling on. It should just give me a really good idea of what I can expect. The one thing that I really enjoy about the Diva Divine is I now have another strong, symmetric hybrid in my bag. And here's another one two-handed, just to give you higher rev players an idea of what this bowling ball can do. Finally, we're moving on to the pinup Diva Divine. This one's drilled 45 by 4 by 30, as you can see on the screen. And it's my favorite layout for when things are starting to change and I want to see a little more down lane. Speaking of down lane motion, here's how this ball looks when you let it fly. So that's it. Thanks so much for tuning in. And because you've made it this far, I'm going to reward you with what might be one of the worst breaks you've ever seen on video.